Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet Classic. And we are still here at Blue Crab Island. And what we're going to be doing, guys, now at this point, we're going to go ahead and try to get this fish monster that is available here. Yeah, they've just added a new one, I just noticed uh, recently. I don't, last time I was on here, I didn't see it. But they've now added the South American one. They now have one for Maku Maku, Marin, the Amazonian, and South America. So it looks like the only one that's left is going to be the uh, Congo. And I'm sure they're going to get that in soon. So if anybody who's trying to get that uh, DLC, I would suggest um, waiting a little bit longer because you're going to be able to get the monster as well. Well, anyway, guys, what we're doing here is it says on the mission. There are reports of a terrifying monster fish somewhere around the Blue Crab Island. Those who claim to have seen it call it the ghost peacock bass and say it is only visible at night. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with a little bit of night fishing. Not only does the monster scare other fish away, but it also has a taste for crab claws, as many crabs are found nearby with their claws brutally chewed off. Perhaps making a special jig lure from crab claws should be enough to catch the spook and put an end to hit this to this to this <laughs> okay put an end to this it's just the way they ended it there's no period so i'm like uh punctuation please okay anyway <laughs> we've got to catch five blue crabs and with that we make this thing called the crawfish claws jig uh three quarter ounce six odd so we're gonna go ahead and track that now, I did do a little research, and I know where this guy is, because this place is so big, I figured it was better to do that. Whoever uh, whoever was, I think it was Super Dave. Might have been Super Dave. Uh, I watch his videos occasionally, as well as um, a few other people. And he's usually on top of this kind of thing. And finding this particular guy is not easy I'm definitely glad I did that because yeah, this particular map is so large so when we get the Amazonian maze I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing there as well but let's go ahead and get to a private room so we're not you know elbow to elbow with people but we need to go to the dock first then we'll advance time I'm gonna take it to about eh, Let's take it to about here so that we can see what we're doing. Now, I've got a rod here with a crankbait. And the only reason I have that is because I need that to snag the crabs. And I'm hoping this one will do the job. Now, from what I've been researching, we need to come all the way over here. I'm not sure this is the only place, but this is the one I believe Super Dave had shown. I want to do a shout out to him. Good job locating this stuff. This would have been a time consuming thing to try to do by myself. But I want you guys to be able to see this for yourselves. Yeah, he tends to just get to the point. Here it is. This is how you catch it. Boom. And that's fine. And that's what, you know, he's more of the teacher type. And me, I'm more of the let's go grab a beer and fish together, guys, and enjoy ourselves, make a few mistakes, have a few surprises, and just have a good time. Everybody has their own technique, and everything is effective, and that's what he's popular for. Yeah, I found that out a long time ago, just just to let you guys know. I used to do try to do tutorials more like and I just didn't fall into that category very well it just felt foreign this is more like what I like to do I like to just play around have a good time I don't want people to see that I don't make mistakes because everybody does let's see there we go man kudos to super Dave Blue crab. Oh, shoot. I don't have any room for it. I don't have any room for it. I have to release him. Damn it. Okay. What have I got in my inventory? Well, at least I got a couple of bait coins. Let's see. I'm going to have to check my inventory. 
Yeah, I always forget you have to do this sometimes. See what I mean about mistakes? Yeah, you don't see Bill dance. He makes all kinds of mistakes. I've heard he falls in the water, he's knocked the cameras over and run them. You don't see that when he does his his recordings. He just catches a fish and he looks like he's just out there and catches them one right after another. No. <laughs> no, that's not real. That's not real. So let's go ahead and see here. Uh, probably under this stuff. We got birch branches, lumps of coal. That's leftover stuff from. Okay, that might be enough to make it work. So we have to get have room for five of those guys. So let's try that again. That was pretty easy to get, honestly. Boom. Well, after all that, and I didn't snag a one that time. There we go. We got something this time. There we go. I still have to release him? Why? Oh. We're supposed to release him. Never mind. Never mind. I thought you had to keep him. Okay. That works. I thought I just... Never mind. Well, I didn't need that stuff in there anyway. That gave me a little more room in my inventory. See, we're learning something new every time. Have fun. Be free. Okay. Well, these are actually pretty easy to get. Yeah, it didn't say catch and keep, it just said catch. And there it is. Mission accomplished. Blue Crab Island Crawfish Claws Jig. Great work. You've got the Crawfish Claws Jig and are now ready to hunt the Ghost Peacock Bass. So, claim that. It's placed in my backpack. Thank goodness it didn't get sent to my home base, but I, I thought I had enough room. Alright, so now we need to get on our boat. So I gotta go this way. Let's put our rod away instead of walking with our rod. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. I, it yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it because somebody is going to have their mind in the gutter and make a comment. Yeah, we need to get down here because we've got a bit of a trek to make. Alright. I'm pressing E. There it goes. Okay. I think in this circumstance it would have been better to have that pontoonish boat that I have. But truth be known, I do need to go back in here anyway because there's some. The next set of species that I'm doing, I need to take the boat back here. So this was all part of the deal. I needed to get back in this more brackish freshwater area. Might as well catch the ghost fish. Okay, before we go any further here, guys, let me throw the anchor here and bring the map up. Now, we've got to cover a little bit of ground here. But where we're trying to go is over here. I don't know if you can see this. But the coordinates, just to make sure you got it here, 
or about 80 point as we're just 80.15 71.75 roughly anyway there's this as you can see there's like this little bitty stream going way back here in this area and there's this little lagoon I guess you want to call it best thing I can think of to call it and that's where we need to go not easy to get to and I would never have thought that's where you'd find this guy but apparently this is where he's found and he's going to be found here only at night so I will tell you this in the fisherman fishing planet I caught some unique long nose gar in this location so good place to fish good place to fish for the freshwater fish I haven't tried some of the others so while we're, after we're done with this mission I think we might try a few other things in the next few episodes see if we can get something there but there's also this little location here I'd like to check out too eventually I don't think I checked that one out but we're gonna go here anyway guys so we're gonna probably skip the travel time Ooh, there's some big fish down there and go ahead and make our way over there alright guys I am back you know you're got about to reach that little opening and it is little when you see the windmill and it's almost difficult to see it I mean look it just blends right in it's very small a little worried about this getting back there but it looks like it's going to do it we're just going to take it slow take it easy we might bounce off the walls of the or the grass a little bit but we're going to get back there yeah I want to be able to take this back there because I want to be able to have the rod holders the only problem with this boat is it it's just kind of bulky doesn't get into tight quarters real easy also doesn't make a turn very well <laughs> yeah it's more for big open water and uh, brackish bays and stuff like that yeah the, the main bay this was perfect for but this is going to take a little bit of getting back here guys this is very very narrow I'm going to put that on there in case we see any fish down there but I haven't seen any so far so but there's some have no idea what's going to be in this little stream I'm not even sure what you call it tributary I don't know but anyway it's going to take us a minute like I said but work your way back here as best you can now if you're going to do this by canoe this is going to take you a while <laughs> I was like I could take the canoe but my god I'll be at this all day that's not a short trip I wish there was a way to carry a canoe with you big boat like this it seems like you could just put the canoe on the back and then take it you know yeah that would be cool wouldn't it alright guys I'll bring you back when I get a little bit closer alright guys we're almost there it's a little difficult to navigate but you can do it luckily they don't make you you know run aground or anything you kind of just bounce off the walls of the reeds and stuff but this is that little area right up here we're finally there only been here a few times but I don't know if there's any particular place but I think you can pretty much cast anywhere along here but I do see a lot of big fish down there let's go ahead and set up our anchor we're in a position here I think where we could pretty much cast any direction we want so I'm gonna go ahead and climb on out of the boat kinda cool wouldn't it? it's like a 
lake within a lake, so to speak. Alright guys, we're going to eventually have to advance time, but I'm not sure... Yeah, I've got to wait a little bit of time, unfortunately, for the next cooldown. So, until then, I'm kind of kind of stuck. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I tell you what, let's there are fish here. Let's see what's going on. Just just mess around a little bit. We've got some bottom rods, we've got some decent baits. Let's see. I've got shrimps on this. Now, let's just see what we can get. We'll throw the shrimps out there. Yeah, let's put something other than shrimps on this. Let's put, uh... Well, we could put crab. There aren't a whole lot of catfish out here. So... Kind of snook, striped bass, permit, red drum. Yeah, let's just put some large minnows on there. I think I might take the hook size down just a touch. Let's take it down to a four odd just to make sure that we can catch these guys. These aren't the monsters that we caught out in the bay. So there's a lot of there's a lot of fish, but there's a lot of small ones too, and I just so happen to have a spinner. And some uh, featherweight rods. We can see if anything goes for that. You never know. Also better take that tension down a little bit because if it's really big... Wow. Really didn't have to wait too long, did I? Let's see what we got here, guys. Like I said, I have no idea what's out here. Trophy Bowfin. Alright. Pretty cool. Yeah, I actually forgot that they had Bowfin in this map. Usually regular peacock bass will go for a spinner bag with no problem. I threw a tail on there, but I'm not sure. Is it the same one? They are really going for those. Might try shiners on the other one. Is this another bowfin? No, there you go. Trophy long nose gar. Told you they were here. Told you, told you, told you. I hope I'm holding him out. There we go. Yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, I've caught a lot of these in real life. I've caught a lot of them both by fishing for them and when I was in college, we had to net them. Yeah, I was a biologist guy. Well, I'm still a biologist. I was a biologist. I had my degree in biology. Freshwater ichthyology. Yeah, they uh, they have a like a. It's not really a poison, but they've got like something in their slime that when they cut you with those teeth and that slime gets in it, it just hurts like the dickens, guys. And inevitably, they will cut you, especially when you're trying to get them out of nets, because they get snagged easily. And my my hands were all cut up and burning. We'll keep him. At least we know they're there still. But I am going to throw that back out. And I think this one over here. Well, let's see if we can't snag something off of this.
This would also be a great location to try a topwater lure. Just like in the Everglades, I'm betting you. There we go. Okay, we got something. Not sure what, but he is going to give me a fight with this rod. Let's see what we got here, guys. Another bowfin. Yeah, I really didn't know they went for that. I don't think I've ever had one go for that. At least not in the Everglades, I haven't. Let's see here. Yeah, let's change this up here. Let's put something else on this. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's also take the hook down a bit. That's kind of a big hook. Let's put let's put a two on on there, and let's try something completely different, and maybe put like wax worms or night crawlers or even pedo on there. Let's see if there's any big mouth buffalo out here. I know they're around. I just don't know where all they're found just yet. I've got a couple of old markers on my. The fisherman fishing planet that I could check, but Let's see, we got us another long nose gar, I think. Yep. <laughs> see, there you go. Unique long nose gar. There you go. I told you they were here. I told you, I told you, I told you. You saw it. You saw it. Let's take a look at this guy. Get us a picture of him. Oh, nice. Big old fella. And I have seen them that big. I am not joking. I have seen them that big. I have seen them and I have caught them. And that was quite a fight, let me tell you. It's like trying to pull in a horse and then you gotta watch those damn teeth Ugh. let me see if I can't get a better shot get a better lighting here there we go nice very very nice very very nice let's get a picture of our little fishy here friend picture of our fishy friend yeah I don't think he's too happy with us Not bad cash either, 1546. He's at 27.461 pounds. I was not really expecting that, guys. I was just playing around, but no joke. Just playing around, just seeing what was if what was here and if things still worked like it did in the fisherman. And it does. As I said, they are very close. Very, very close. Oh, before, before we go any further, I want to mark that unique guy. Just so that we have it. Well, this guy is not giving up too easy, but he's not that big. Let's see what he is. I think it's another long nose. Yep, regular one. Now, if you guys want to see the coordinate, if you guys want to see the coordinate here, I'll go ahead and pull the map up. We'll zoom way, way, way in. And there's the mark right here where it gets kind of deep. Now we can kind of see where the deep spots are. But large minnows, evening, right there on the edge, which is typical for predators. And what they do is they hang in the deep spots, they wait for the small fish to swim over, and they nab them. And that's what he did. He nabbed it.
Big old fish. Big old fish. Alright guys, we are going to check to see if the time has changed. If we can now fast forward. I know that. So that means we're going to have to pick up our rods. But that's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes too. But it is what it is. There's a big old fish down there somewhere. Ah, I'll be damned. I was like reeling it in. Damn, what the hell is this? There you go. Big mouth buffalo. They are here, guys. They are here. Jeez. That's just a common size. I think they come in unique. Let me make sure here. Let me first take a look at this guy. Yeah, he's a pretty good sized fish. 18 pounder. Not bad. Now go ahead and keep him as well. XP's not bad either. That's probably the big fish I'm seeing down there. Well, let me see here. I'm going to... Yeah, they do come in unique. Awesome. Maybe this is where they're found. We'll, we'll check on that. I'm going to go, go ahead and mark that as well. That way we can just hang out here. And he was in that deep area, huh? It's interesting. So maybe we can check the holes. Maybe that's where they are. Well, it makes sense. They're bottom feeders, so... All right, let's see if we can advance time a little bit here, guys. Yep. Let's forward time to the night. Just to be on the safe side, let's take it to the main peak. All right. Now, since... We don't want a whole lot of distractions. I am going to do this with just the rod. I'm not going to put my bottom rods out because that could get a little too confusing. Let's see, where do they put that jig? Okay, it's under here. So look under bass jigs, guys. So it might be even able to put a tail on it. Let's do that too. Let's throw a tail on it as well. Nope, we can't put a tail on it. Now let's just use what we got here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, we have our light on. I wonder where this guy's going to be. There's something big right out in front of here, so let's see if that's him. Yeah, I don't know how hard this guy's going to be to catch. Usually the monsters aren't too bad. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I can up this a little bit too. Let's try lift and drop, see if that doesn't get something's attention.
There we go. That was what we needed to do. Now, did we get the right thing? I think we did. I think we did. It's He's fighting pretty good. He's... Oh, yeah. This is him. This is... This is he, actually. This is he. I'm a stickler for being as grammatically correct as possible. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a good fight. This is going to be a good fight. And this is not a light rod, guys. This guy is going to be pretty good size. Ooh-wee! Come on, fella. At first, he seemed like he was coming in a little too easy, but... That quickly changed. I think he didn't realize he was caught. Okay, I think we just about... Well, thought we had him. <laughs> Oh man, this guy's tough. <laughs> he keeps getting away. There he is. Okay. Monster Ghost Peacock Bass. He's not huge, but he is a heck of a fighter. 1848 Cash. He is a cool looking fish. That is 2406 XP. Plus, we'll get the XP for the mission, too. That'll be nice. Let's take a look at this fella. There he is. I don't know if you can get more than one or not. I don't know if it's just him and that's it. But there he is. Not a bad day fishing. And mission is accomplished. Blue Crab Island Ghost Peacock Bass Monster. We got 15120 XP, 18,227 cash, two bait coins, and a Ghost Peacock Bass mount. We got that in our backpack. And there you go, guys. We got him. Let's see. I'm just going to cast this out another couple of times. There's something big down there. I don't know what it is, but it is big. It might be a peacock bass, just a regular one. Yeah, some of these special lures, they work really well with the regular species, too. Yeah, I think you can only catch one. It's always worth a try sometimes. You never know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we're going to start doing some serious fishing back here in the backwaters of the Blue Crab Island. See what we can get as far as peacock bass. There's a couple of different types of them here. Uh, of course, more big mouth buffalo. See if we can't get a unique one. And plenty of more species. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.